for the past three years, my stepfather has been coming into my bedroom and touching me. I knew it was going to happen when I would hear him walk down the hall and stop at my door. I would freeze and I felt like I couldn't talk or move. My name is Jessie and I'm 12 years old. I have a really big problem. I didn't want to think about it at first, so I tried to forget it as soon as it was over. But it just kept happening, and after a while I couldn't forget it. He told me that I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. Pay attention! You're not listening to me! Trying to say to me. I tried to tell my mom, but she just didn't get it. She acted like she didn't understand what I was saying. And it just felt so weird that I just stopped trying to tell her. You haven't been listening! I have been listening to you. Now just try to make some sense. So what did you do over the summer? I told my friend at school. And one day my friend t convinced me to talk to a teacher about it. You used a BB gun? Oh. What did you do? Um, not much. Hmm. I have a secret that I need to tell you. You need to tell a teacher, Jesse. What is it, Jesse? Jesse, why don't you come around here and talk to me and tell me in my ear, okay? Okay, okay, Jesse, we're gonna we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna get some help for you, okay? Okay. Uh, but they bring me cakes. So. Hello, am I in the right room? I believe so. Okay, my name is David Snyder. I'm just come to talk. I have a few questions to ask you about what's going on. Jesse, how old are you? I'm 12. 12 years old? Okay. How long have you lived in this area? For my whole life. All right, Jesse, thank you for answering those questions. I appreciate it. But if you would, would you please come with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Jesse, come with me here this way. Imagine being 12 years old and telling your best friend that your stepfather has been coming into your room and molesting you for the past three years. Then imagine police and social workers coming to talk to you about it. It can be frightening and embarrassing for a child because they've had this secret and they felt alone. And now these people need to know everything about it. And what you have just seen is a representation of the many stories I've heard during my eight years of work within a children's advocacy center. We provide a family with a help so that their child can get better. Hi, Jesse. How are you doing? The entire investigative team comes to the Children's Advocacy Center, also known as the CAC, to meet with a child. And the center is decorated just for kids. The child advocate is here to provide support and encouragement to the child to make it as easy as possible for them to tell their story. Now, don't worry. I've been mentoring children for over 10 years. And I want to be here for you. And I want to be your friend. You can call on me anytime, whether it's about school, your friends, your family. I want you to know that, that I am definitely going to be here for you. In fact, all of us here are going to be here for you. We just want you and your family to have better days. Council on Aging and the Children's Advocacy Center will establish the first ever intergenerational campus of its kind in the state of Florida and in the nation. Kids can get services that will help them recover from sexual abuse and their families can get help too. That will help relieve any stress the family is feeling and allow everybody to focus on helping the abused child and preventing future abuse. The Council on Aging moved here in 2007, and now they provide services to more than over 52,000 people a year. Soon, the Children's Advocacy Center will make their home here, creating an amazing opportunity to prevent child abuse through an intergenerational campus and partnership. 
Generation Point will be the first project of its kind, but this program could be replicated anywhere. I can't think of a better way to give understanding and reassurance to a child that has suffered the betrayal of sexual abuse.